onto our steak. Then we gently flip it onto one side. Fix that. Flip this over onto our cutting board. Going to add some nice chimichurri. Beautiful. I'm going to let this cool down and I'm going to come to my beers. We're going to put this into our ice. Beautiful. While that goes in, I'm going to slowly put this into my freezer. Now we have our meat here and I'm going to gently roll. Get all of that juice in there. Bring it into our cocktail shaker. Close that. Bring it into our oven. Let this cook for 15 to 20 minutes. You guys can keep it longer if you'd like. I'm gonna get my dough here for my beautiful tortillas. I've got sun-dried tomato in one of the doughs, which is why it's orange, and some fresh herbs and garlic in the other one. I'm gonna cut through one more time. We're gonna start shaping our leaves. Put them onto our plate and slowly onto our spoons. Now that these are out of the oil, I'm going to put them onto my plate. And we're ready for our next step. I've got my final platter of tortillas. I'm gonna add my meat right into the center. Beautiful. I've got my chimichurri, which I'm gonna add on top. I've got my pickled red onions. I've got some fresh parsley. I'm just gonna sprinkle for some extra color. Few limes. Gonna add some limes. Salsa. Like this, just around the edges. Come through. Flavor that up a little. And we open it up. Just like that. Beautiful. Come through with a little cheese. Cheddar. And come around. We're gonna let that melt on the edges just a little bit, just enough to be able to help us get these nicely stuck together. Now, we're gonna go ahead and grab some chorizo flavored beans, refried beans that is. You can see that beautiful chorizo color on there. And we're gonna spread it out, just like this. And come one more time with a tiny bit of cheddar. It's gonna give it a nice little melt. Second tortilla, give it a nice dip into our guacamole salsa and cover that up. Make a little space here. We're gonna crack an egg right in the center. A little salt and pepper. Got some bacon strips, just like this. Some jalapenos all the way around the tortilla. Grab a second one, a third one, that is, sorry their little tortilla. Cover that up. Now, as the cheese is slowly melting, we're gonna go ahead and grab that excess and just flip it on top like this. Finish all the way around like this. Just trying to close those edges up a little bit to not lose what we have inside. Come through. Scoop it all up with the help of the spatula, of course, just like this. Go over here. And we're going to gently bring it to our hot oil like this.
Now we come around and dip the middle like that, little by little. We're going to let that crisp up beautifully. Look at that, y'all. All right, guys, it looks about ready. Now we're going to go ahead and remove it from here, take off the excess oil, just like this. Let it drip the rest of it out. We don't want to lose all the cheese, so we're going to come right over here, put it on this glass, and let it take the form that we want. Just press in like this. Give it about 30 to 45 seconds, and we'll have a nice, crispy taco shell full of cheese and all of these other goodies. I'll pinch these corners in, all of them nicely now let's pick it up it's still a little hot guys so be careful check this out beautiful come this way we're gonna place it right here come through with some chorizo and we grilled hot bell peppers and onions nicely seasoned with just salt and pepper fresh homemade guacamole let's be generous with this beautiful all right guys top it off almost done a little sour cream and for a little delicious flavor and crunch we go with some chives here we go 